Hello guys, welcome everyone. Okay, let me check everything is correct or not. Hello guys, if you're watching, please comment so that we know that this life is going smoothly. Yes, the life is going smoothly. Okay. No viewers yet. Yes, we got one viewer. Hello, please say hi to us if you're watching. Hello, everyone. Hi, hello guys. Yes, we got many replies from people. Hi, Kumuda. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. So today we have one interesting person who going to share her experience. I had a pre-interview with her just now. It was really amazing her experience of how she handled a business and also how she's managing a two hyperactive kids, which have two different personalities. It's very, very nice. So okay if you're watching please do comment we have a lot of uh, people saying hi hi yes i will bring in kalayaka in a while at eight o'clock three more minutes so let me give a brief uh, introduction about uh, what is uh, this live session is all about and who is our guest speaker today so this live session and um, this uh, live session today is brought to you by et ideas et ideas is a social business incubator where we focus on developing entrepreneurs to step out of the system to solve world problems collectively and selflessly at the root cause. We also guide people on how they can do better at their working world, um, you know, do achieve their goals in terms of their happiness, health, and wealth. So that is what ETIDS has been doing so far. And we have been doing this since 2008, and we have developed around 31 companies so far in various different fields. So we have uh, 43 associates, 31 companies so far. And I'm very, very proud to say Kala is one of the ETIDS associates who it has been guiding for a, almost plus almost like one year plus so kale is a founder and the ceo of precious 30 days many of you guys are watching live from precious 30 days now so thank you guys for all watching precious 30 days is a postnatal and a postnatal care and product company where they do confinement services for the newborn baby and mothers kale has been personally running this business for the past 10 years that's a lot of time. So she just joined this. She just started this business and she will share how that she started the business. I think that's very interesting. She started this business as a one person. Now she has around 15 people, 15 staff under her. I wouldn't say staff. They are more like family to her. So 15 uh, staff that is handling this, uh, this amazing company and they have nine branches. So without any further ado, let's welcome Kale into our live session. So, hi, Kalai. Hi, hi, Steven. How are yes, you? Yes, hi. I am doing great. Can you guys see us? If you guys, uh, there are a lot of people already saying hi, hi, bro. Or, I think the bro is for me. We have <laughs> people already saying hi, Ka, all the best. Thank you. Uh, hi, and everything. I think, I think they are your friends mm -hmm. and fans. So, thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Very uh, nice to have you all. So I think uh, Kaleka, I already uh, give a nice introduction to you. So maybe you want to introduce yourself, who you are, what you do, and everything. Okay. Um, okay. Of course, you already told my name, but anyway, I'm Kalevani <laughs> Rajeswaran, Rajeswaran, and uh, I run a postnatal uh, business for past ten years. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, I've shared this opportunity with uh, many other women who really need an extra income apart from like taking care of their family. So yeah, this whole thing uh, started uh, with me being uh, helpless during my personal uh, confinement time. So I had uh, my actually I born from a Bidan Kampung family. Uh, my grandmother is a Bidan Kampung. Uh, I have aunties who can do this, but in a very traditional way. Mm. So I had lack of help for my second uh, confinement. So yes, my auntie taught me a lot of things. She used to share a lot of things uh, through the phone. Uh, my late auntie, actually, I really owe her a lot. Her name is Tana Lichmi. So, so she uh, actually guided me a lot, but I was more interested in that uh, modern way of 
doing uh, okay. postnatal. Okay. So attracted That's more on that evident base. So from there, I developed <laughs> whatever I'm doing now. Okay, okay. Very nice. Um, okay, maybe we can go out with the first question that I have for today. Uh, because this business is not some it's not a conventional business that many people start it's something very very unique and required a lot of skills to run this business and mm. how did you get this idea i think you already said you already you know born in a family where there is a your grandmother is a bidan and everything so it runs in the family but how did you have this idea to start this as a business mm. it basically started with the product i started with the product uh because um once my auntie taught me how to do so i started with my product for myself and slowly uh, many people start asking me like okay can i can you do this product or not like uh, it's basically product to use for postnatal okay. so uh, i started like that and then slowly developed to service in 2015 uh before that i got no fb and all that but thanks mm. to my sister prem so she actually created the whole facebook thing all for me So she asked me to post my product and all that. So I had a lot of people buying my product. So and then from, from there, ah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. So from there, then 2015, I had opportunity to uh, serve her mother. Actually, uh, was my neighbor's um, friend niece. So they were asking me to do this. They bought the product, but they didn't have anybody to help them. So they were like, she was like mm-hmm. forcing me. So being obligated to that auntie, I started the postnatal. Uh, care for her needs but when i started to do for a stranger i actually didn't want because i don't know that girl i mean know the auntie so uh, i i i get my company registered because first time doing for a stranger i didn't want to go and simply put my leg in and i mm-hmm. did like what i learned uh, what i learned uh, like more on evident ways that kind of thing so i did like that and she recovered very well okay. so that's from there on till today i never stopped being for <laughs> next <laughs> okay before this starting this business you are actually a tuition teacher teaching kids yeah. how to you know normal normal tuition and everything and yeah. you got uh, when you you got this idea to do the products and everything when you have the second baby right yes mm. okay 13 okay, years so ago 13 years ago oh, she's 13 years old now okay mm. interesting so when the baby is formed you uh, when the baby is there you wanted to do the product by yourself and suddenly that's become a business idea that you started and now you have grown until like nine branches that you have so yeah very Never nice because, <laughs> yes very nice i think most of the people want to start business out there and everything and they look for what they can do what they can sell and everything uh before i think besides looking at outside probably you need to look at inside what you are good at what the skills that you have i think that's what you did and that's why since you have the passion for it you can grow it to a huge business right now so yeah. very nice actually you actually. can look around you and uh, find out the needs if you have this need definitely there are also another person have the need so that can become a business actually you don't have to very think nice. like a big millionaire business you know just look <laughs> around you and there is a need for you there's need for others as well nice we have prem here said hello hi prem hello <laughs> okay so i think we can ask the main question that is many people are watching here today they they want to hear this from you you have two kids and you told me that these two kids are two different opposite one is super quiet one is super active so and you beside that you also runs a business with nine branch and 15 staffs with you how did you give your best in both how did you manage your time can share about this to us okay actually balancing um, is our topic today right balancing business and being mm. parent actually if you see that balancing is being very truthful is very difficult to balance the both because you need to give 100% as a parent you also need to give 100% if you really want your business to be success so True. how do you give 200 here 100 here 100 at a time is very difficult <laughs> right so uh, you need to decide like for myself uh, my my personal experience before i know et ideas and i know about sip and all those things i'm like uh, for a while i'm with my family with my kids and then i become like hey why you because i'm not giving much importance to my business i i get confused myself and then i start uh, get irritated uh, you know i feel like i'm not spending more time on my passion is the other way around when i do 
concentrate more on my business and then i feel like uh, i failed as mom and things like that so it it's it basically it's knowing what make you comfort your comfort level i will say normally do what is your comfort level so so for me it's like um, i can go on for two days like if i'm extremely doing very busy in my business only i i know i can only do this for two days after that i need to sit down and speak to my kids or spend some time with them maybe makan makan with them and then uh, ask about them and things like that otherwise if i continue forcing myself doing my business like in that more than two days like 100% what will happen is i will not respond to my customers i will start reacting i get so irritated because back of mind i have this thing that my kids are waiting for me you know i never do my part as mom so is vice versa when i like be too long not not uh, uh concentrating on my kids uh, on my business i also be like that i get so irritated because i feel like i'm not justifying my business and things like that so i have this two day thing extremely busy only can last for two days and i have my time limit after mm. 11:30 i don't reply any whatsapp so okay. <laughs> yeah so you have to have your comfort level you must set you must identify this one happened i could identify this using my sip yeah any any examples of you burst out with your customers or you couldn't spend time with your kids <laughs> and you burst out any anything like that sometimes being in postnatal uh, business right um this is always an emergency you know emergency delivery <laughs> it's, it's always kind of emergency mm. and and mothers need us also equally you know like as your family they also need you and especially like first time mothers they don't know what to do they are solely depending on you so i used to receive message like at 2 o'clock 3 o'clock 5 o'clock in the morning like a baby delivered ready uh oh. they just call me to say that baby <laughs> delivered kind of thing so sometimes yeah but then um, last time i used to react so much now i don't react it's it's up to me whether i want to reply to this call or not right everything i believe that has the time basically it's just they want to share their story or they want to say anything but their problem can wait till the next day morning definitely okay. so yeah used i used to i don't really react to my customers most of the time my husband become my punch bag i used to try to get <laughs> and i used to like uh, let out all these thing you know what is this i, I like no life like that you know that kind of thing but equally they all need us la. i mean like if you plan your things properly manage mm. okay okay <laughs> so um that that's how you were like before it ideas and we know what right. sip like how you mm. manage your emotion and everything you you try to focus on your business then you feel guilty that you didn't spend time with your kids mm-hmm. then then after that you stop for a while you go spend time with your kids then you feel guilty that your business is not doing so well and then you start mm-hmm. to react to your customers which is a bad name for you so what you mm-hmm. need is find a comfort level that you yeah. are okay to spend this much of time for your business this much of time for your kids so mm-hmm. you you manage it properly am i correct yeah very nice very nice uh, sharing because i'm also doing few things to uh, two three things now and finding it ba- difficult to balance it out and everything so finding your comfort level okay that's interesting <laughs> can can share a little bit about your kids we know about your business how is your kids at home like um, how are they what are they doing how old are they i have two teenagers at home they are 14 and 13 <laughs> so I, okay uh, if parents were watching if you think that your baby uh taking so much of uh, time you know like i i feel like uh, if you have a teenager you need to be you need to give more time you know uh, the bigger the kids grow the bigger challenge you will feel <laughs> you will face actually it's nothing like okay your kids grow ready you are fine it's nothing like that. the challenges is even bigger they uh, as a teenager they need me more they need a friend basically and now during this mco they cannot meet their friends you know there's no letting out uh, space for them you know they are always confined at home so i am actually trying to uh, balance their emotion here and then trying to uh, uh, it is not easy because they are two different character their needs are very different i have a son who are like very patient quiet and um, yeah he's 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 more like his dad i have a daughter who are more hyper and um, and uh, she's always on her top of her energy so it's a two different character you need to 
so here i cannot judge i cannot like put them into one one box and say that you both born for us you must be same <laughs> cannot you know so you have to identify your kid and do what you supposed to do as mom okay okay interesting <laughs> you cannot keep the kids in the same box because they are two different characters treat them like an adults as well very mm -hmm. interesting sharing if uh, those of you who are watching uh, if you have any questions regarding parenting how to manage your business and everything please do ask us in the comment section we will ask our guest speaker today kalai I told her that we will be having a lot of questions. So please do ask some questions if you want. Also do share out the session with others. Maybe there are other people who missed out the session. They wanted to know about this and everything. So, yeah. Um, okay. So you, you say that you have two different kids and two different needs for them and you need to take care of them and everything. Have you like any time bring your kids to your business? Yes. They used to uh, come with me when school holidays. Uh, so they get like, uh, you know, it's like summer uh, job like that. They used to come. Uh, so they used to assist me. So they get paid. <laughs> yeah, like okay, my, okay. Son used to, uh, my son used to help the dad to cook uh, the confinement meal, arrange and everything. Yeah. And then when I started uh, this business, my daughter was only one year, uh, standard one, sorry, she was seven years old. And I didn't have much help around the house to do the business and take care of her. So I used to take her with me. I used to tell the customers that I'm bringing my daughter. So I'll just keep her with me. And uh, I keep her in the car. I feed her. She changed her uniform, school uniform, all in her, in the car. So I used to get these curtains from Daiso and cover the car and feed her and things like that. So yeah, like, like, um, the journey goes on, so I used to keep them with me. So they know that the struggle, they know, uh, they also know that the parents are not going to give up giving any mm, excuses. Mm, mm. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> it was tough, but then I, I'm glad that I didn't give up because, uh, um, you know, I was very determined to do this business. Uh, I also had this, I also feel like sometimes I'm a bad mom, like keeping my daughter in the car and feeding and things like that. But uh, it also has taught me for not giving up, giving them as a reason. Because next time I don't want my children to also come up to me and say, giving reasons for not achieving their goals. Because basically children learn from experience or whatever they watch. It's not, they're not taking your advice. They will never take your advice. They actually see and adopt and represent. Like They are just like mirror. So they are very strong now. They are very focused on their goal. They also can balance their things with so many things, school, ascendance, a lot of things they can balance. I think this is what I think me and my husband had showed them. No reason, excuse given to achieve okay. your goals. Okay. Very nice. Hi, EJ. Thank you for joining us. Thank you guys for all uh, joining us today. If you have any questions regarding managing uh, your kids and also your business, please do ask us. We will ask our guest speaker today. So... Um, very nice sharing, uh, like being truthful to your kid. That is very nice. We have a nice comment here. Um, true, great mom giving your best. Well done, living by example. So, EJ, thank you, EJ, for the nice comment. So, um, actually, uh, before this session, right, not before the session, yesterday I was watching an interesting movie. It's suggested by one of my mentor. It's called the movie called The Click. If you guys want to watch, go and watch. It's on Netflix. Um, I, I, when I watch the movie, right, it's like there is a couple, husband and wife, and they got two kids. Okay, and uh, these two, this this uh, wife is a housewife, so the husband is working every day to, he's literally working twenty four seven, and his reason why he's working is he wanted to give a nice life to the kid, and that's why he's working. And be, because of that, he don't have time to spend for the kids. The kids want to play with him. We don't have the time. He want to bring them for camping. He promised everything, but then the boss will say something. You need to go for that, and everything. So he missed a lot of time uh, spending with the kids because he's at work. And I think it's happened in a lot of families. Even my family, um, I'm not a father yet, so I don't even have. I haven't married yet. But my sister and uh, and uh, and husband. My sister is a housewife, and um, husband literally works every day to do two jobs, something like that, to bring money. 
and everything and he only he cannot manage his time he cannot really spend time with the kids for now the kids only think of him as a father who comes every now and then and then you know uh, he they scared of him and everything so what what do you what do you say about these things how how can this thing can be impl- uh, prevented or something okay we were like this many many years ago but um, my husband was in a was a project he was dealing lot of projects so he was like very busy so at one point of life we took a, a, a drastic decision he took a drastic decision to just stop all his work and then uh, focus more on the family we had very minimum income but uh, what he used to say is like uh, you decide what you just live your life for what you need not what you want so many time being the parents who are like very busy actually if you if you just check and see probably they are working towards what they want it's not what they need as a human being right uh, your need is your basic needs as a as a human being is very simple shelter food and then uh, certain things just a few things only but then most of the time we work for what we want this is where you get trapped like whatever you want the list will not end True. it never end from one house to another bigger house bigger house bigger house so you will be keep going like this if you ask your kids and family maybe they don't want that it's just your assumption so i learned this from my husband like work towards what you need not what you want because whatever you want never ends okay <laughs> true makes 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 a lot of sense i, I got speechless for a while okay <laughs> <laughs> very nice sharing okay, if you guys have any questions please do ask yes somebody says uh, rish pancha said wow great sis yes so thank you for your comment miss rish pancha okay so you, you you mentioned something about siep and how did you handle your business and everything right like can give a quick example of how how did you manage your business how did you handle your business yourself and everything before you know about sip and and how did you know like you know how how did you change the way that you were thinking the the way you run business after you know about sip and everything last time last time before i learn about sip and all that if my customer react i will double react <laughs> you know <laughs> if they think that they have like issues okay like let's like, say like example uh, Uh, like lactation issues and things like that you know like breastfeeding issues i also will be like reacting with them together you know so uh, now now it's much more easier to manage because you learn the technique of like you breathe and things like that so you focus more on solutions and things like that so i i actually tell them i do first and then i also tell them okay let's sit down okay relax breathe let's see what solution we have it's not like together uh, you know dancing to the tune you know you also react and then physic mentally whether physically tired or not i used to be mentally very tired i used to have okay. like lot of headache so so drain out energy because you are solving people's problems you see like every day you are listening to a lot of uh, things and you also have not only your customers you have your team my team mm-hmm. all my my team uh, they are all uh, mothers as well they also have their own issues they were they face in the house and i will be the person that uh, for them to share their story like a sister like that for them so sometimes i also have a bad day but sometimes they will call and like tell me that you know akka i'm having a bad day you can be like telling them that you know i also had a bad day <laughs> you know that kind of thing you know so this method of siep and then uh, breathing and all this really made me more calm so i can focus on my end goal solution and also lead the mothers there to a very uh uh seeing in seeing in solving problems it's not like being so much in the problem yeah thanks to eti okay. ideas <laughs> i think i think to to simply put it out you you learn to handle yourself better correct learn, <laughs> yes le- learn your learn to handle yourself your emotion your your mental ability everything better and because of that you able to see clearly the solutions the opportunities yeah. that is already there and everything and i also realize uh, your daughter bianca is also the even organizer for your trainings and all right yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay, okay. can tell about that how old Actually, is she now she's, 
she's 13 now she has i think okay. she already organized like three classes uh because uh, she had this opportunity to organize a conference with ascendance she was one mm. of ascendance participant and then she had this uh, uh, opportunity to organize ascendance uh, conference um so uh, that was like 400 participant or 200 i'm not mistaken like two one year ago right two years ago okay. the, the first conference 400 yeah 400 participant so after that she came to me and uh, when I was like uh, already organizing for my class, then she came and told me that, uh, can I be in your team to organize the class? So I was like, um, what do you want to do? Because for me, it's like, uh, you're only 13. Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, like, what much you can help? So she just told me, like, uh, how many participants are you having? My one is the max will go to 17 the the last is 10 mostly it's like 17 participants so she told me that you only got 17 participants i did a, a, a conference for 400 students so i was <laughs> okay. like i was like speechless you know it makes sense because i was there seeing how they were doing things so then since then so actually i have a sister who uh, most of the time she my sister prem organized my events so i told my sister you know what she wants to be just give her the opportunity because this is what she told me mm. so my sister like okay took her in but ever since then she has changed a lot of things in our uh, way of organizing the class because we don't really like super organized we like um, we have our name list but then from the food from the caterers numbers and then like uh, groups and things like that we had whatsapp group but not so thick everything is like properly arranged but since the day she came in, it's like more organized. And to to be very truthful, we actually, like me and my sister, do a lot of things before she noticed because we don't want her to question us. <laughs> it's very strict. Thank you. She's she's like very strict. So she would like uh, she would like make sure that uh, you know the, when the date comes, uh, she don't like seeing me like talking over the phone. Like uh, like sometimes you just talk uh, to your friend or anything like that. She'll be asking me. Uh, you are wasting your energy. Why don't you focus back on your class? <laughs> you know, that kind of Ooh. thing. Uh, okay. Why are you wasting time? You know, focus back on your class and things like that, you know. And then uh, even my sister will be like so freak out, you know, afraid of her, very difficult to answer a question. <laughs> you know, she'll be like everything like so like very well organized. So this is all like she learned from us and then so yeah. Very so nice. That's my daughter. <laughs> Okay. We have one question. Uh, let's see. As a mother, how did you gain your energy every day to handle your business and kids? Will uh, what will be the best advice for a mother who need energy to continue? That is a very very nice question. Maybe you can answer it, and then we can wrap up today's session. Yeah. Actually, this one I would like to go back to my uh, mentor. Always tell me that basically we all have energy. But we like to waste it by like gossiping, focusing so much on our problems and then, uh, you know, not focusing on our goals. Like this is the way you waste energy. Beginning, I also didn't know. Oh, all this can, can really drain us out. Uh, I, I also don't know. So after like uh, my mentor told me, actually, you have a lot of energy, but you just waste with that. So if you check out and see surely you will be doing a lot of other things which is which is not related to your goal which is also drain out your energy so that's the thing you get your energy when you focus on your so whatever not contributing to your goals do not give importance so you don't waste your energy ouch okay <laughs> okay very nice i used i used to say i got no time but now you you tell us nice uh, something okay okay <laughs> we, we have a nice comment here it's nice to hear that you trust the the trust and the trust that you give to your kids real life experience i think that's very nice because most of the time we don't really involve kids in our business or something and we also don't share much things about our, um, our work struggles or business struggles to our kids but we expect them to share all the things with us and at the end, they don't want to share. Like what you say just now, they learn from experience. They don't take your advice. Like when you be truthful and tell them, involve them as a, treat them as an adult and involve them in your business, in your work or something, even share with them something that's happening, being truthfully sharing, sharing with them. 
they will do the same thing to you they will share about their school life and everything to you that's a very nice example i think bringing your kid into your business uh, actually improve your business right like you know she she, she now she's managing the event or organizingly uh, everything perfectly and everything that's very nice okay anything you want because to say they have a, yeah. because they have a different mentality right i mean like they are younger than us their perspective of like seeing things uh is very different we just have to trust them they will they will do better then and then like sharing your things mostly parents right i'm also like uh, we also had this uh thing like okay you must not let your kids know your struggle is this is parent psychology normally but end of the day we also when they don't understand our hardship we also intend to complain that okay you don't understand what i go through even, but but actually you don't even share with them so you expect them to automatically understand normal parents dialogue like as one once once they keep grow up right they will tell that you know how difficult i went through all these to raise you <laughs> but did you okay. share with them did you let them see no we did we did not we put them in a very nice glass jar nicely protect them you give them everything they don't see your struggle so when they don't see they also don't learn very nice i think we can wrap up the session with that um how to manage your business and your kid together find the comfort level find how long you can focus on your business without worrying that you're not spending time with your kid and then spend time with your kid find the time where like you know you you won't worry that i'm spending too much time with my kids or and i don't want to go to my business so find the comfort level where you can give your best at both i think that's the best advice um this is something that's uh, little things that kale shared today is a uh, Uh, it's very nice. I think thank you, Kale, uh, for that. She's going to share a lot of things about how she is handling the uh, parenting, how she's doing the business together uh, in the Dad to Live conference. And I think particularly Kale's session, she's another guest speaker together with her is her daughter Bianca. So they both going to do the session together about parenting. So I don't know how I'm. I'm really waiting for that session in the conference. <laughs> because how we can you know parents have a lot of things about kids and kids have a lot of perception about parents and when you bring them together in the screen ask them to share to people i don't know how it's going to be but i think it will be very very nice sharing so thank you kale and kale will be sharing a lot of things in the dad to live conference beside her we have uh, 25 speakers speaking in the conference where they'll be going to share about how what is sip and how did they have applied sip in different aspects of her life kale will be sharing how she apply sip in terms of her parenting and we have many other guest speakers going to talk about how did they have apply sip in terms of handling their emotions their relationship their wealth management their health um, how did they have developed their business by using sip how did they uh, did very very well in their career by getting so many promotions increments and everything by using sip and everything So if you guys are watching today if you want to know what is SIP how to develop your business your career and everything please do join the conference um because um the conference is 650 ringgit um which uh, is 650 ringgit happening on March 13 and 14 but uh, we have a special promo price that has been going right now which is only 150 ringgit only so two days conference for 100 ringgit 150 ringgit for 25 speakers it's a really good deal so do join us and learn how we apply sip and be successful in our career so thank you guys for joining thank you kale thank you very thank much thank you for having me thank you everybody yes, for watching uh, yes very nice to meet you you have a lot of fans people are saying thank you thank you thank you a nice session and everything okay i think that's all thank you bye thank you bye see, see you guys bye. again in another live session bye